Todd Wolfgram. I'm the amp and electronics tech at Dave's Guitar Shop here in La Crosse, Wisconsin. My contribution to the Cheyenne was to design the electronic wiring. Uh, I was given two simple requirements. The first was to come up with the widest range of sounds we could create from these pickups, and the second was to keep the controls as simple as possible. To cover the electronics, we'll start with the pickups. These are made in-house by Sangral. The bridge pickup is a very traditional single coil. The neck is a humbucker with a little bit of a difference. It's made with individual calibrated Alnico 5 magnets rather than a bar magnet and then pole pieces. It gives us a couple of advantages. The calibrated magnets allow you to have a better string to string balance without having to lower the base side of the pickup. And when it's split to a single coil, it gives a truer, fuller single coil sound. Now we'll take a quick look at the controls and what they do. We'll start with the selector switch. It's a two pickup guitar and a five position switch. Positions one, three, and five are exactly what you'd expect from a two pickup guitar. Neck pickup, neck and bridge, and bridge alone. Positions two and four are gonna be the neck pickup as a single coil, and then in the fourth position, the combination tone of the bridge and the neck, but with the neck again as a single. We'll give a quick listen to those five sounds right now. So here's the neck pickup alone. Position two, neck pickup as a single coil. Now we have the neck as a humbucker with the bridge pickup. Position three. Position four is the neck as a single coil with the bridge pickup. And finally, position five is the bridge pickup alone. The number two position is where the tone control does what I think is its most interesting work. Um, we start with the neck pickup as a single coil. When we roll the tone back, it's going to go to a hyper clean, almost acoustic sound when we hit the bottom. On the way there, it's going to make a very gradual, smooth transition between these two sounds. Roll back a little. All the way down. And now if I bring the volume back just a touch, there's one last little trick in here. Now I can go from that very clean, almost acoustic tone. And bring it from there right up to. Finally, in the number four position, the neck pickup is having that same thing done to it, but it's combined with the bridge pickup. So here we go from two single coils, which by the way, are hum canceling when they're on together. And roll all the way back. It's a nice rhythm sound that's got a lot of detail, but it doesn't jump out in the mix. One thing that I left out earlier, and it was the uh, third requirement that was given to me in designing the electronics for this guitar, and that was we needed to be able to get all of these sounds and have all this capability without batteries. Uh, it's a completely passive guitar. There's nothing inside this instrument that couldn't have been built into a guitar 50 years ago. So even though the wiring is new, really in a way it could just as easily be 50 years old. <laughs>
Anyway. <laughs>